So as we did with lines, the next thing that we want to do is look at various shortest distance problems that we can solve involving planes. Okay. Um, now the, the first one that we'll look at is the distance from a point to a plane, just as we did point to a line earlier. Right? Now, um, in some ways this is simpler than it was for a line. Let's sketch out the schematic. Here's our plane. Okay. Here's our point. Um, let's call it, I don't know, Q. Some point which is not on the plane. Right? And, and so the idea is that you know, our data that we use to define the plane typically is some point on the plane and what? A normal vector. All right, that's the information that we have. And the information that we want is the distance from this point to the plane. And of course, that means perpendicular distance. Uh, let's call that point maybe R. Okay. So there are a couple of vectors, of course, here. In fact, three vectors that we can construct. Um, there's this vector from P naught to R. There's this vector from P naught to Q. And then there is this vector going from R to Q. Right? And so this, of course, is going to be some right angled triangle. <coughs> We want to find that shortest distance. Right, so the distance that we're interested in is the magnitude of that vector from R to Q. Um, now, it's not immediately obvious that this is going to be the right formula, but remember that um, we, can, we can move vectors around. So in particular, I could take this normal vector and I could, say, draw it there, right? as long as the magnitude and the direction are the same. Um, or I could think about taking that vector RQ, and this is kind of maybe the picture that we we're used to looking at, is take that and sort of translate it over here. Whichever way you want to sort of look at it. Um, but the idea is we're going to take this vector and we're going to project onto the normal vector, right? So when we project onto the normal vector, we're going to get rid of any part of the vector which is parallel to the plane, keep only the part of the vector which is perpendicular to the plane, and of course the, the sort of perpendicular component of that vector is going to be exactly the vector that goes from the plane to the point. Because right? we have a vector that goes from the plane to the point, um, but it's not necessarily perpendicular to the plane. So we want to get rid of the parallel part, we keep only the perpendicular part, um, and then we'll be done, right? So RQ is in fact the projection of this vector P naught Q onto the normal. Okay. And so, of course, from there, if you want, you can you can simplify that projection formula. But that's that's essentially what you're going to be dealing with. All right. Um, other distance problems that we could. Uh, that we could do, well, one would be um, between parallel planes. That's certainly another option that we could consider. Um, and at first, this seems like a more complicated problem, but it's really not, because what happens is you're, uh, you draw your second plane, right? And so you've got your second plane, which is parallel to the first. And we have the usual information about the plane. Point on the plane, normal vector. Well, it's going to be the same normal vector, or at least a scalar multiple of that normal vector as the first plane. And there's going to be some point on the plane that we're given. right? So now, finding the distance between the two planes is the same as finding the distance between any point on one plane 
and the other plane. And so you're back to, you're back to the first one, right? Point to plane. Um, same story with if we had a plane and a sort of parallel line. Get a point on the line, find the distance from that point on the line to the plane, you're done, right? Um, the, the thing to realize here is that, you know, that plane, because it sort of extends, you know, in two directions, in every possible direction, right? We don't, we don't really have to worry about those initial choices. All of them kind of come back to solving this point to a plane problem, right? So almost all the distance problems in this section, they can all be translated into finding the distance from a point to a plane, okay? So we'll, uh, we'll figure out how to do that in the next example.